That's Brownlee's Russet, which is a local apple, raised in Hemel Hempstead in the 1840s, not yet quite ripe. That is Cottenham Seedling, and is that, which was raised in the 1920s in the village of Cottenham in, I think, Cambridgeshire and that's also not quite ripe. This is Flower of Kent, also called Isaac Newton's tree and this is the apple in the famous incident where Isaac Newton saw an apple fall from a tree and started the train of thought which led to his theory of universal gravitation so that's a very important historical apple dates from at least the early 17th century could be much older that is Egremont russet but there are no fruit on it now I had the only one it produced this year uh, a day or two ago and jolly nice it was too but as you can possibly see it got scabbed rather badly this year this is Bramley's seedling which is a fantastic cooker but very easily available in the shop so I didn't really want it but I got sent it by mistake for Brownlee's Russet, which I showed earlier, and also that's not yet ripe. And finally, that is the old mature apple tree that's been in the garden for as long as I've been here, which is 30 something years, and it was mature then. And this year it's got a fantastic crop on it. It's uh, going to be very heavy. I think it's James Grieve, but I've never had it formally identified. This is my telescopic fruit picker, which comes in jolly useful for picking the James Grieve, which are out of reach, and I will demonstrate its use. Put it underneath the apple where are we? there little oops little tug oops that's not quite how it's supposed to work uh, try again underneath the apple get the stalk between those protrusions tug and it falls into the bag and then we put that into there and that there is some of the apples I've already harvested and I've already had another full bag full bigger than this and as you see there's tons more to come so loads of cider to this year